Hi there! Welcome to our channel. I am Randy and welcome to Canadian Schoolies. Uh, our uh, YouTube channel is um, Built Lord Tough. Okay, and in this next uh, video segment, part two of the uh, photo montage, uh, you're going to see what I did with the floor and stuff like that uh, in preparation for the uh, finished product of, uh, of laying the floor. Okay, this is uh, some of the stuff that's necessary. You got to get rid of that rot, you got to cut it out. You got to patch it in, but you got to treat the metal. You got to seal it, and then you got to you got to paint. You got to prime it with the uh, rust-oleum. The paint that I used uh, was a um, uh, it was a uh, it was a Dab 13, I think it is. It's a Canadian brand. It's similar to uh, Pore 15. Uh, it ha that has to be applied to a rusted surface. Okay, you cannot apply that stuff to a smooth surface, to something that has zero rust, because that hardens to like a, like a, like a glass uh, shell, if you will. And what'll happen is when you get metal flex, that'll just chip off, that won't stick to it, okay? It's gotta have, it's gotta be able to convert, okay? As, as it, it's, it's, it sounds almost uh, counterproductive, it sounds like it, uh, it doesn't make sense, but um, it's like, uh, it's just one of those things. Um, you know, if you've ever watched, um, what's, what's that, Jordan, what's that, that, uh, movie there with the car, the race car there? Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen, where he says, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to turn left, you have to turn right. And that's because when he's going into the skid, he's actually turning right because it, it feels, it feels like it's, it, it, it doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. Okay. I hate to use that as an analogy, but. Some people will understand it that way, but it's just one of these things that stuff reacts to rust. So you get rid of some of it, you get rid of uh, as much as you can, but you gotta, there has to be something there for it to grab to. Okay. Uh, it's not just a porous thing. It's gotta be a rust thing. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get on with this, uh, this, uh, video. Uh, so here you'll see, uh, I, um, sorry, I started here. Here you see, so it's, this is a sandblasted, this is done, this is what I'm going to be treating, okay? Uh, that there, I, I did sandblast it a little bit more, um, but that seems like that type of metal that was treated on the school bus must have a, some sort of an oxidization where it protects itself, um, because that there is, uh, is finished product with the floor, with the rot cut out. Any of the, any of the metal that was soft and had buoyancy to it, I cut it right out, and basically, um, yeah, that's all sandblasted. There's all the rust parts that I cut out. I just threw it on the floor and took a picture of it. And there I'm, fit, I'm dry fitting my pieces to make sure that they fit. Um, I'm just going to show you a few videos or a few uh, photos here. Uh, I numbered them all, took pictures of them so that I could remove them and then uh, treat the floor, treat the rust, and then seal in the patches, okay? I bent all these patches, all the all these metals, I, I bent them all, I made my own bender. Uh, I didn't buy one or go use an expensive one. I made, I literally made my own. Um, so there you see, it was significant. Um, and uh, I made sure that they were, I, I overkilled it, like I went way over, but I don't ever wanna have to do this again. Last thing I want to do is rip out a floor because I have rot or you're going through the floor. Um, I want it to be secure. I want it to be sound and I want it to be, uh, I want to be able to weather. I want it to be able to, to withstand the test of time. Um, yeah, so you'll see here in these, uh, pictures, um, coming up, I'm just waiting for them to come up. That's an entire picture. I had to, I had to, that's sandblasted. I had to, to cover and clad completely the sides because I had spray foamed and then did the sandblasting. There it is all primed up and ready to go. Um, yeah, I don't know where the black photos went, but the black photos are probably in there somewhere. They just got mixed up, but that's uh, Rust-Oleum paint and I, I applied it 100% uh, pure. I didn't water it down or, or thin it out or whatever, but uh, as you can see, it's a pretty, it's a pretty solid floor compared to what it looked like. Okay. Now I don't know where the black photos went, but there's, uh, the installation of the uh, foam board along with the three quarter inch tongue and groove, uh, plywood. I didn't use particle board. I do not recommend using particle board. 
I didn't screw any of the floor in. There's no screws that go down from the uh, plywood down to the floor at all because I didn't want thermal bridging. What I did was I peeled, I glued my foam board down, glued the foam board on top of the foam board, then the plywood, and that's why you see tires in there and everything because I needed things to add weight. Um, and it went along very nicely. Uh, for the front part, you'll see here that uh, I cut the foam board, shaped it in, and then what I did before I glued the foam board down, I traced it out on the plywood, and then I cut the plywood down because if the foam board fits, the plywood's going to fit, okay? Now, as you can see, uh, that's completely finished. But uh, that, is, uh, that is the part two of the floor of the schoolie. So part one was about the roof raise and the roof, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And part two, which you've just seen, is for the, uh, for the floor, okay? If you like this video and you like this content, hit the subscribe, like, and share button. Uh, gets it out there because we're trying to promote this channel. We're trying to get it out there. We're trying to build the channel. We're trying to monetize. Uh, this way we can obtain, you know, sponsors. We can obtain uh, different things. And uh, the, uh, the channel is just going to expand. We just, we love doing this and uh, we will see you in the next video. The next actual video is going to be a video uh, moving forward. Uh, we have, uh, I have Fred who's, who's uh, doing my editing and stuff like that. So he's, uh, he's set us up with uh, a good system and um, yeah, we're just going to keep move, moving forward with these videos. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you in the next video.